Hello children, you are watching Educate program through Durdarshan and today's topic is direct and indirect speech and it is an interesting topic and as you know in real life situation you meet people those who speak directly and when they speak they speak at random and people listen to them and when they repeat those speeches they speak in a different manner in a real life situation you know that uh, people speak in different manners and you also know that in speeches made by politicians speakers they use direct speech but afterwards those direct speeches are made into indirect when it is reported now when you read a story you will find dialogues these dialogues are in direct speech and these dialogues are told in indirect manner when the storyteller he narrates it to other people so we know it very well that speeches are of two types direct and indirect and you are to know how they are changed because in language we have certain principle we have certain rules especially in english language you have to understand that when you change direct speech to indirect you have to follow certain rules and people in england the native speakers of england they speak fluently they know uh, the rules and they use it there is no mistake in their speech but for other people the people who are in other countries whose language is uh, uh, english as a second language they speak differently they have to adhere to the norms and principles and to the rules and this is no doubt very elaborative and lot of rules are there in direct and indirect speech but if you just uh, minutely observe it will be very interesting and it will be uh, quite uh, uh, possible for all of you to change from direct to indirect and changing from direct to indirect will not create any problem for you because in all the grammar books the rules are given extensively and you have to follow those rules and use them uh, when you go for conversion from direct to indirect now if you uh, just uh, think for a moment that uh, whether we should use direct speech or indirect speech you have to think exactly the situation because the situation demands whether you should speak directly or indirectly therefore bear it in mind that you have to use direct speech when you are speaking yourself to other people but when that particular speech is reported and somebody else speaks that it becomes indirect so we have to go for the rules and we have to follow the principles that are underlying for direct and indirect speech conversion look at this uh, beautiful scene two children they are standing and one child is speaking he said let us go to the cinema the boy says he said let us go to the cinema this is direct speech because in direct speech you find the reporting clause he said and let us go to the cinema that is the reported speech now 
after he said after the reporting clause there is a comma and before the reported speech there are inverted commas and at the end there are inverted commas and so examples of direct speech he said i am happy you see the direct speech i am happy that is in between inverted comma and the next sentence do you want to go there that that is a question form and it is also in between inverted commas now he said when do you go to school that is an interrogative sentence and it is within inverted comma he said let us go to picnic that is let us go to picnic that is also within inverted comma he said may god bless you that is also within inverted comma and it ends with exclamatory uh, mark mark of exclamation and he said what a beautiful garden that also ends with mark of ex exclamation so these are the examples of direct speech so in direct speech you will find that uh, uh, there are commas in between two clauses and the reported speech is within inverted commas and see what are the changes examples of direct speech do you want to go there he asked now here in this particular sentence you find he asked that is the reporting clause and that is given after the reported speech this is the difference you find children read the book he said and one thing you mark after read the book after that sentence he adds begins with a small letter so when you bring in reporting clause after the reported speech the reporting clause starts with a small letter and i am tired she said let us stay at home in this sentence you find i am tired and let us stay at home these are two independent sentences and so uh, they are in inverted commas and she said that is in the middle and uh, that is the uh, reporting clause and you are tired said the king let me take the spade here also you find the same example thanks said the hermit and here you find mark of exclamation and that is in direct speech and if you want to go to the picnic she said then call me that is like i am tired she said let us uh, go home so children you found how direct speech is written it is the written form when somebody says you cannot mark the punctuation marks but in writing you have to mark the punctuation mark that is very important because in writing you have to put the punctuation mark in real place and so uh, you are to bear it in mind that when you write the direct speech you are to give importance to the uh, comma and inverted commas and at the end whether you are putting it in mark of interrogation or mark of exclamation that you are to be sure in direct speech again you find the actual words of the speakers are put in inverted commas that is the first word of the quoted words begins with a capital letter the actual words are separated by a comma from the reporting verbs the closing inverted commas comes after the punctuation marks that is direct speech uh, wrongly it is written indirect but that should be direct next please advance rules we break up the direct speech in two parts the second part of the direct speech starts with a small letter if it is a continuation of the first sentence if the reported speech comes in the beginning then the reporting clause begins with small letter but sometimes you find that two independent sentences are told by the same speaker in that case the second sentence starts with a capital letter the reporting clause remains in between two sentences this i have already described so there is no need of describing again we'll go for the next slide
examples of direct speech do you want to go there he asked look at the tense form now now children you have to understand that in order to go for the conversion from direct speech to indirect speech you have to understand the tense form very well and you mark these sentences simple present present progressive present perfect present perfect progressive and simple past past progressive past perfect and past perfect progressive you have to bear all the tense forms four four eight tense forms you have to understand you have to re recognize these tense forms very well so that you can convert the direct speech into indirect uh, very easily so you mark simple present tense i play cricket present progressive i am playing cricket present perfect i have played cricket present perfect progressive i have been playing cricket simple past i played cricket past progressive i was playing cricket past perfect i had played cricket past perfect progressive then i had been playing cricket so children you marked how in tense form we have various types of sentences now look at the types of simple sentences you are also to understand that you are to know the types of simple sentences declarative interrogative imperative optative exclamatory now in modern grammar they have taken optative and exclamatory in one uh, that is exclamatory optative they have uh, kept in exclamatory sentence now you find declarative i know you i do not know you interrogative do i know you why do you go there so as i told you it is necessary that you should know different types of simple sentences and different types of tense forms in english as i have told you now you find in the screen types of simple sentences declarative i know you i do not know you i know you that is in affirmation or affirmative i do not know you negative interrogative do i know you why do you go there so one question sentence begins with a uh, an auxiliary and another begins with a wh word imperative sentence come here and there are many types of imperative sentences optative may god bless you exclamatory what a lovely garden how lovely the garden is nowadays grammarians have put optative in exclamatory category now you have to understand that different types of simple sentences are put in direct speech and they are made into indirect you will notice how these direct speeches are made into indirect following certain rules and we'll go for the next mona labanya bati tiriya mona arjana malik mona girdhar mahari mona mina ki sethi राज्य सरकार निष्पत्ति अनुसार पंचम और द्वादश अध्ययन रत अनुसूचित जाति जनजाति और अन्न्य पछुआ वर्गर छात्र छात्री मान अग्राधिकार भित्ति से विद्यालय ही शिक्षक किंवा अध्यक्ष जरिया स्थायी जतिगत प्रमाणपत्र जोगे दिजाव एणिकी पिला खुशी में पढ़े पाठ विद्यालय मिल जगत प्रमाणपत्र गोविंद 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 पद गु मकरंद से मकरंद पान करजनारे फोन कले लाइन मैन आसी सजाड़ दिए तमरे तो लाइन कटी गले किए सजाड़े तमे को सूर्य को फोन करो बोकी टाकिलो सूर्य को नहे ए जो नंबर टा लिखाई छि देखे जते बेले लाइन कटी जेबो ए नंबर रे फोन कर देले सब समाधान सेई तो फाल हो हैला 1 8 0 0 3 4 5 
फोर फाइव सेवन वन थ्री फाइव अनुसूचित जाति और जनजातिर छात्र छात्री मैनेंचल रही महाविद्यालय वैषयिक तथा वृत्तिगत अनुष्ठान मान सुविधा पाठ पढ़ाई मानवर मुख्यमंत्री श्रीजुक्त नवीन पट्टनायक जुगानकारी योजना आकांक्षा यह योजना मध्यम सहरांचल रही पाठ पढ़ाई समस्त सुविधा सह हस्टेल निर्माण कर छात्री मान रहा खाइबार सुबंदोबस्त कर खूब शीघ्र राज्यर अन्न प्रमुख सहरांचल यही सुविधा सुजोग जगै दिजा जनजाति छात्री मान आकांक्षार सुजोग निजर उच्च शिक्षा अभिलाष को साकार करूँ If you have no knowledge about the tense forms and about the types of simple sentences, it will be difficult on your part to convert direct speech to indirect speech. And so, I have already told you that you should be able to recognize the tense forms in English. You have to see the sentence and to know the tense form and also the type of simple sentence the sentence uh, has and so uh, you are to remember that and you are to go for understanding the tense forms and the types of simple sentences now you see the sentence ram said said reporting verb i am hungry reported speech i am hungry is the direct speech indirect speech if you change it into indirect speech it will be ram said that he was hungry so what happened when you changed it you just uh, removed that comma and you also removed that inverted comma and you followed certain rules you will see uh, in a little after you will mark how different tense forms are changed when they are in direct speech how they are changed to indirect speech first of all we will take up declarative sentences and these sentences which are written these are all declarative sentences i am happy madhav is coming i am happy again these are all declarative sentences in direct speech he says i am happy now when am is there alone in a sentence it is in simple present you see how they are changed to indirect he says that he is happy now when the reporting verb is in present tense the reported speech will not change the tense form and the same thing happens in second sentence he has told me madhav is coming has told it remains in present tense so madhav is coming that tense form will not change so in indirect speech you find he has told me that madhav is coming and in the third example you find he will say i am happy now the indirect is he will say that he is happy that is because will say with the help of model you are using in reporting uh, verb and so uh, when you put the present form the present tense in reporting uh, verb and the model the the reported speech will not change their tense forms they they will remain in uh, the same tense form but there will be changes in the pronouns only rules when the reporting verb is in present tense the tense of the verb in reported speech does not change that i just discussed that is used to join sentences inverted commas are drop the sentence ends with a full stop when the reporting verb is in the past tense the present tense of the verb of the reported speech changed into corresponding past form this i discussed already now you mark how we have uh, 
the changes in tense when they are placed in reported speech. Simple present, it is changed to simple past. Present progressive, changed to past progressive. Present perfect, changed to past perfect. Present perfect progressive, changed to past perfect progressive. Simple past, it is changed to past perfect. Past progressive, past perfect progressive. Past perfect, no change. And past perfect progressive has no change. So, you have to bear it in mind that uh, when you convert a direct speech to indirect, you have to change the tense form when uh, the reporting verb is in present tense, there will be no change in tense form. But when the reporting verb is in past tense, there will be change in tense form. Simple present, you mark it. These are very important for you. So the simple present changes to simple past. He said that he played football. I play football became he played football. I becomes he corresponding to he in reporting clause. She said, I never eat fish. She said that she never ate fish. The same simple present changing to simple past. They said that they were tired. So here the passive, we are tired. That is in simple present and that is changed to simple past passive. They were tired. So children, you marked that in simple present uh, form, this is changed to a simple past. And these are the three examples you marked, present progressive. Jatin said, I am playing chess. Indirect, Jatin said that he was playing chess because the reporting verb is in past tense and the reported speech is in uh, present progressive. So the present progressive is changed to past progressive. Jatin said that he was playing chess. I said, I am writing a letter. Then it is changed to indirect. I said that I was writing a letter because in reporting clause, I pronoun is there and in reported speech, the same pronoun is there, I, so there is no change of I. So you marked it how the present progressive is changed to past progressive. Present perfect changed to past perfect. Madhav said, I have finished cooking. Madhav said that she had finished Ma mother said, it's not Madhav, mother said, I have finished cooking. In, in indirect speech, mother said that she had finished cooking. Direct. He said, I have done this work. Indirect. He said that he had done that work. So, present perfect changed to past perfect. Now, you will also notice that uh, uh, in this way, it will uh, be changed simple present to simple past, present progressive to past progressive, and present perfect to past perfect. Present perfect progressive, it changed to past perfect progressive. Direct. She said, I have been writing for you. Indirect. She said that she had been writing for him. So, have been writing changed to had been writing. And... Uh, Rajat said, I have been learning Hindi. So, uh, you will mark that. Rajat said that he had been learning Hindi. So, how present perfect progressive is changed to past perfect progressive. And so, you have to go for the next slide and see how uh, tense the changes and you have to see the difference. So, you have to bear it in mind that uh, when you place a particular uh, tense, uh, the present tense, because the present tense there are four types, you place the simple present and then it becomes simple past, present progressive becomes fast progressive, present perfect becomes fast perfect and present perfect progressive becomes 
first perfect progressive. अग्रणी घर शिक्षानुष्ठान मान छात्र छात्री मान गुणात्मक शिक्षार सुजोग देवाई मानवर मुख्यमंत्री श्रीजुक्त नवीन पट्टनायक द्वारा आरंभ कर अभिनव योजना अन्वेषा प्रत वर्ष पांच हजार ऊर्ध अनुसूचित जाति और जनजातिर पिला सतर कोटी जिलार सहरांचल स्थापित अग्रणी घर शिक्षानुष्ठान मान पढ़ापी सुजोग दे सहित रहा खावा ट्यूसन फी पोषाक बहपत्र और जातायात बाबद को चौरास हजार टाँग जोगे दि जा आपण मान पा अन्वेषा योजन सामिल करूँ भविष्य तैयारी कर शिक्षा बर्ष रु आरंभ है राज्यर शहे टी ब्लक हेडक्वाटर्स शहे टी आदर्श विद्यालय आमर प्रिय मुख्यमंत्री नवीन पट्टनायक स्वप्न शिक्षा क्षेत्र में परिवर्तन केन्द्रीय विद्यालय ढांचा सीबीएसई मध्यम शिक्षा ओडा सरकार आउ एक अध्याय ग्रामांचल पाई सब ब्लक आदर्श विद्यालय Children, you marked how uh, the tenses they changed uh, from present tense to past tense, and you had to remember that the uh, corresponding changes of the tense forms was there. And so now we'll go for the other conversions. We'll think of other types of sentences and. Think of how they are converted to indirect speech. So let us go for the next slide and see the difference. Simple past. Children, here you see Ram said I posted the letter, and Ram said that he had posted the letter. Now Ram said I posted the letter. It is in direct speech, and you find the reporting clause. That is there. Said is the reporting verb, and I posted the letter is the reported speech. The reported speech is in simple past posted, and the reporting verb is also in simple past. Ram said I posted. So when on both the sides you find simple past, that will be changed to past perfect. Ram said that he had posted the letter. Babul said, "I played cricket." Babul said that he had played cricket. So you marked how simple past changed to past perfect, and this is very important because until now you saw how uh, the present tense changed to past tense. Now you marked how when both the sides you find simple past, the simple past is changed to. past perfect and when you see the next slide you will be also happy to know the other changes past progressive you see in reporting verb there is simple past and i am it is i was working 10 hours a day i was working 10 hours a day that should be in past progressive and the boy said that he had been working 10 hours a day so when both the sides you find simple past said past tense and i was working uh, wrongly it is given 
am working, it should be was working and so that you have the change past progressive changes to past perfect progressive. The boy said that he had been working 10 hours a day direct. Jack said all the boys you are singing indirect. Jack said that all the boys had been singing. So you found how the past progressive changed to past perfect progressive and this is very important for you to remember. And now we'll go for the next slide. Past perfect, no change. If you find in the reporting clause there is past perfect, there, is, there will be no changes. Direct, he said the flood had damaged the crops. He said that the flood had damaged the crops, no change. They said we had decided to do the work. They said that they had decided to do the work. Of course, we changes to they. they. There is the change of pronoun, but the tense form never changes. The past perfect remains in past perfect. So you marked there is no change in past perfect, but there were changes in other past forms. So children, uh, you are to remember that uh, when and on both the sides there are past tenses, you have to follow the rule and accordingly you have to convert uh, the sentences to indirect speech. So we'll go for the next slide, sir. Past perfect progressive. This also remains the same. She said, I have been singing. She said that she had been singing. Boy said, we had been playing. Boy said, they had been playing. So had been playing, it is not changing. Past perfect progressive, it remains the same. So we understood about the use of past tense on both the sides. If we place past tense in the reporting clause and we place the past tense in reported speech, such changes you could mark and there will be no changes especially in past perfect and past perfect progressive. And we'll go for the next slide. Now in this slide we'll come to know what are the other changes taking place in direct indirect speech. Change of models. Now father said I shall go to Puri. In indirect, father said that he would go to Puri. Sell becomes wood. And in the next example, the teacher said, you must do this work. The teacher said that he had to do the work. The must changes to had to do. Must do, had to do. The, this is the only change you find when you are using the model. If the statement expresses a universal truth, habitual action or a historical event, the tense in the verb in the reported speech does not undergo any change. We'll mark the difference. We'll see the example of universal truth and habitual action and historical event. And then we'll understand how things happen, how they convert direct speech to indirect. Now, see students, universal truth there are the examples. The teacher said honesty is the best policy. The teacher said that honesty is the best policy. No change. So in the left side, teacher said in the reporting clause, you find past tense. And on the right side, honesty is the best policy. In the reported speech, that is a universal truth. So it will never change. The earth moves around the sun. He said that the earth moves round the sun. Habitual action, as I was talking to you about the universal truth and habitual action and also the historical event. This is the second example you find, habitual action. He said, my mother gets up early every morning. He said that his mother gets up early every morning. No change. So in habitual action, you find no changes, historical events direct. 
speech. Teacher said India got freedom in 1947 in direct. Teacher said that India got freedom in 1947. No change. He said Orissa became a separate state on 1st April 1936 in direct speech. He said that Orissa became a separate state on 1st April 1936. So historical events, they do not change their tense form and they remain in the same tense as they are. Even if in reporting verb there is past tense, there will be no changes in the reported speech. And this you have to understand that universal truth, historical events and uh, the other one which I told, the habitual action, these three, they remain as the same, they do not change by themselves. And so children, bear it in mind that when you are going for changing from direct speech to indirect speech, you have to be very sure about the rules and you have to adhere to the rules and you have to use the rules and you are to go for the conversion unless you will be in mistake and you will be put to difficulty while conversing from direct to indirect. <laughs>
I changes to he and how they pronounce the change that you mark. He said to me, you are very clever. He said to me that I am very clever. He said I was, he said to me that I was very clever. That should be, I was very clever. I said, I will not go there. I said, I would not go there. Mira said to Kamla, you are a good girl. Mira said to Kamla that she was a good girl. Now you mark children, you becomes I. Now he said to me, you are very clever. To me he said, so you becomes I. And in the second example, you find I. And so you marked how the pronouns they change in different examples. Now we're coming to question centers. This is very important. He said to us, are you going away today? Reporting Bhavi changed to ask, inquire, want to know, and question. Interrogative sentence turns to statement sentence. That will happen. Sentence ends up with a full stop. Tense pronouns change in declarative. If the reported speech begins with an auxiliary, we need if or whether to join sentences that you will mark. If the reported speech begins with WH word, we do not bring if or whether. Instead, we use WH words. You will mark in different question sentences now. Now you find yes, no questions, types. I said, he said to us, are you going away today? He inquired of us whether we were going away that day. Now said changes to inquired of and because there is auxiliary are therefore you are using whether and then the subject we. You becomes we because us is there and we were going away that day. He said to me, do you know the way to the bank? He asked me if I knew the way to the bank. So the structure goes like this. First of all, you have to put asked and then uh, for yes, no question, if or whether and then subject and then the verb. This is how you change the yes, no type question in direct to indirect. Next. Now question beginning with WH words. The teacher said to me, what is your name? The teacher asked me what my name was. So you find here said becomes asked and what is again repeated. What, here you will not use if or whether. So next example, he said to her, where do you live? He asked her where she lived. He said to me, how old are you? He asked me how old I was. So you find asked WH word and then the subject and then the verb. This is how you change different types of question sentences, especially two types. You will find one yes, no type and the other one WH type. So in these two ways, you change the question sentences from direct to indirect. Next. Now imperative sentences, they have different rules. The teacher said, sit down boys. Now imperative sentences, talk of command, order, request, suggest, advice, forbid. So when you change the imperative sentences, you will find certain changes that you will notice. But now you see the subject is understood in imperative sentence, sit down. Now here the subject is understood. We replace the reporting bar, said will be replaced and we add two before the verb. Negative command and request are usually reported by not to plus infinitive. In case of late, we have different examples. Now examples of conversion of imperative sentences. Children, you mark the teacher said, sit down boys. Now in indirect speech, the teacher told, said becomes told and before sit down, two is used. That is how you change the imperative sentences. Now in second example, he said, please give me something to eat. He requested to give him something to eat. Now because please is there, there is the use of requested. 
the mother said don't run in the sun the mother forbade me to run in the sun when you are using forbade there is the negative implication the meaning is negative so there is no use of using not to but when you use the mother forbade me and then immediately to comes the doctor said to the patient take only liquid diet now instead you try to find the the meaning whether it is command whether it is order whether it is advice the doctor advised the patient so uh, you have to understand in imperative sentences whether uh, the meaning it goes like advice or request or suggest or anything else and try to know the use of late in imperative sentences a direct speech you find he said let us play a match he suggested that they should play a match so here said becomes suggested and you are using that in between and then ask becomes they and should is used and then infinitive he suggested that they should play a match ram said to hari let us go there ram suggested hari that they should go there so what you find in imperative sentences there is the use of suggested and especially in late when the reported speech begins with late then you have to change the reporting verb with suggested and then should then plus verb father said to me let us plant some trees now said becomes suggested and then you use should plus the infinitive plant the verb plant so you found in imperative sentences uh, you have to understand the meaning of the imperative whether it is order command request suggestion or forbid that you have to understand and the second type of imperative sentence beginning with late that has different use of uh, the changing of direct to indirect now we'll go for the next exclamatory sentences in simple sentence this is the last one exclamatory in exclamatory you find there is the adding of optative sentence an expression of sorrow joy request or surprise how beautiful you are there is a the use of adjective beautiful and what a fine game a fine game is a noun phrase so in exclamatory sentences you will find that noun phrase and adjective they are used and when you put them in direct speech there is a particular way of changing from direct speech to indirect see how they are changing he said how beautiful the rainbow is he exclaimed with joy that the rainbow was very beautiful raghu said alas i am ruined raghu exclaimed with sorrow that he was ruined so you find children that after reporting verb said how beautiful the rainbow is after reporting verb said the exclamatory sentence is there and when you are changing it to indirect speech you have to change said to exclaimed with then you take the mood whether the person is in a joyful mood or in a sorrowful mood that you have to put joy or sorrow and then it will be a statement sentence then after so you find other changes he said may god bless you he wished or prayed that god might bless him previously there was one optative sentence uh, written in different grammar books now the optative sentence the type of optative sentence may god bless you that is included in exclamatory sentence and so you have four types of simple sentences uh, that is one is a uh, declarative the second one is imperative the third one is interrogative and the fourth one is exclamatory sentence and then uh, you are to understand that uh, when you are changing from direct to indirect you are also to remember how different adverbials they go for a change now change of adverbials and here now then today that day yesterday this particular table you will find in grammar books so children you have to remember the changes today that day previously 
the day before, that is yesterday, the day before, tomorrow, the next day, the next day becomes the following day. And like this, there will be change of adverbials and demonstratives. So, children, I have uh, discussed this particular direct and indirect speech in a very short time because every uh, slot, a particular item like uh, the declarative sentence will take one class, the interrogative sentence will take another class, the imperative sentence will take another class, and the exclamatory sentence will have another class. But in a very nutshell, I discussed the direct and indirect speech in uh, almost one hour, and I think you have understood it, and you will make it uh, uh, in real life situation, make it effective, and you use indirect speech, you use it when you report something, you use it when you are describing a story, and you use in real life situation when you are to state somebody's version, somebody's opinion, what he gave in direct speech, and you are changing it to indirect speech. If you have understood it well, it will be fruitful. Thank you. Ajiro Biso Alucho Biso Chi Krusi, Prothom Bago, Kadio, Gibono, Harano Koriva Pine, Bonchia Pine Avasego. Say Kadia me Pau Kuntu. Taha Krusi Ketro Huni Asitai, Krusi Ketro, Krusi Kohile Korn Bujajai, 